Fala comigo! E aí, beleza? Já Jaderson Silva mais uma vez com o inglês técnico. Inglês técnico voltado para a área de montagem industrial metal mecânica. E no vídeo de hoje nós vamos falar sobre a solda MIG, o processo de soldagem em MIG. Você vai aprender termos técnicos em inglês usado nesse processo de soldagem. Você verá que no vídeo anterior eu falei sobre o processo de soldagem por eletrodo. Nós vamos passar o vídeo inteiro em inglês, você vai ver as imagens e o conteúdo legendado em inglês e no final vai ter uma explicação em português para que você tenha uma melhor absorção do conteúdo. Tá ok? Tamo junto e é só o começo. What is MIG welding? MIG stands for Metal Inert Gas Welding. The American Welding Society calls this process gas metal arc welding or GMAW. You might also hear it called wire welding. In MIG welding, a thin wire acts as the electrode. This wire is fed from a spool mounted on a gun or inside the welding machine through a flexible tube and out of the nozzle on the welding gun or torch. The wire is fed continuously when the trigger on the welding gun is pulled. When this trigger is pulled, it also switches on the welding current and a shielding gas. An electric arc forms between this wire electrode in the workpiece and heats both metals above their melting point. These metals mix together or coalesce and solidify to join the workpieces into a single piece. The metal in these parts to be joined is called the base metal and the metal that comes from the melting wire electrode is called filler metal. MIG welding always adds filler metal to the joint. Because the wire electrode melts as it being used, MIG is called a consumable welding process. Here is the MIG wire going through the wire feeder into a flexible tube or conduit liner. The liner goes through the hose or welding lead all the way to the torch nozzle. At the nozzle, the wire is fed through a contact tip and comes out at the point of the weld. Shielding gas is also fed through the welding lead. It goes through a gas diffuser and flows out the nozzle. The shielding gas, which is often a mix of argon and CO2, protects the molten metal from reacting with oxygen, water, vapor, and other things in the atmosphere. The shielding gas is stored in high-pressure cylinders like these. The pressure is reduced to an usable level by a device called regulator. In MIG welding, all the machine controls are set on the machine itself. Most important of these are polarity, wire speed, and voltage. The trigger on the gun is just on-off switch. For most MIG welding, the current is direct current, or DC. DC is like the current flowing from a car battery. One wire is always the negative and one is always positive. In DC MIG welding, the electrode is usually positive and the workpiece is negative. The term DCEP is used indicating that the current is direct current and the electrode is positive. This is also called reverse polarity, but DCEP is a more descriptive term. In an electric circuit, the current flows in a loop. In MIG welding, the current has to flow in a complete circle, from machine to the torch, into the work and back to the machine. Work lead is clamped to the work to complete the circuit, from the workpiece back to the machine. So, in summary, MIG welding is an electric arc welding process. It uses a consumable wire electrode, filler metal is added automatically and shielding gas comes from a high pressure cylinder.